Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble one of these Mountfield MC380 LI cordless lawnmowers. I'm actually putting together a full playlist of videos, all different things you can do with this lawnmower. I'm going to do the assembly video in this video. I'm also in the top right hand corner going to link to a playlist of a review video I've done, a test cut video I've done, and uh, basic things you might want to know. The whole playlist of videos on this MC380. Mountfield cordless lawnmower in the top right hand corner of your screen now and there's also a link in the description of the video but the purpose of this first video that you're watching now is I'm going to take this out of the box I'm going to show you how to get set up, how to assemble it, how to put the handles on and just how to get started with this Mountfield MC380 LI cordless lawnmower you probably see here I've got uh, quite a few other items I've got over 300 videos on the channel as well so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so and tick the bell notification that way you'll get a, an email every time I release a new video so I've just basically gone across this with a knife and just taken the actual tape off myself and I'm going to show you in the box and we'll get this out and I'll do this live exactly as you would receive it from Mountfield as well right so let's take a look in this box here it's, I've not touched anything else all I've done is taken the actual tape off the top I've just gone across there with a knife so let's see what we can find right so let's take a look at what we've got we've got a battery charger here and see that? I'll take that out of the box. We've got a 40 volt battery charger. I presume these are the two batteries. These are 40 volt batteries. There's two of those. Let's take a look next. We've got the handle. So it's pretty small. The handle's nice and small. Everything's quite compact. Let's just take away some of this packaging. See what we can find. So yeah, pretty straightforward. This handle here is attached to the mower. So we'll have to lift that all out in one piece. And uh, first thoughts of this, when I'm actually opening this up, it's a lovely colour. We've got the actual user guide here and all your warranty and everything that you'd get with it. So I'm going to have to lift this out of the box. This actual wire is attached, but there's a handle here. So I'm going to use that handle there. I'm going to put my hand under the front as well. I'm just going to put that handle out of the way, just so I'm not going to scratch anything or mark anything. So not too heavy at all. Pretty easy to lift out the box. And then we've got this lawnmower out, so really straightforward. And it's a nice looking, little, very little looking, compact lawnmower. So let's take a closer look at this. So I'm just opening up this documentation here. There's a the certificate here with all the things that you'd need if you need any parts for this. this is like a, a certificate. These are all the details you need if you need any parts. You need to quote a reference number. You've got this actual little book here, which is for the battery charger. That's the operator's manual there. And then you've got your warranty registration card from Mountfield as well. Let's take a quick look in there. And that's just something you can send off to actually uh, confirm the warranty. And then here as well, you've got these full operating instructions book, which is a printed book. And I was hoping to find some assembly instructions in here, which I've just found. So that's great. This tells us how to put these handles on. And that's something I'm going to show you how to do next. So the way I've decided to do this is leave the top part of the handle in the box just to avoid scratching anything. And what we've got to do next is just attach the actual lower part of the handle. Now to do this, I need to take this part off here. This is like a quick release handle. So I need to take that off. I'm going to take the washer off. I'm going to do that on both sides and leave this circular part in place. Now I'm going to drop the handle on. So the first thing we need to do is just back this handle right off, take the whole thing off and drop it out of the way. The next thing you need to do is just put this lower part of the handle on. Now the lower part is the one that doesn't have this operating lever on here. And you can see why you must take these parts off because there's no actual slot here where it can go. It has to go through here. So you want to get this through here and hopefully you can see the cut out here. And this is just going to sit nicely in that gap. I'm going to tighten these handles back on. So I'm going to show you how to assemble the bottom part of this handle here. Now I see this a lot of times that this is actually assembled incorrectly. So I'm going to show you what to do with this. This actual part comes off here. You can see the handle goes across here. What you've got to do is you've got to fit this part into here. This has actually got a little hole in the bottom. So you pull this out, slide the handle into there. So it actually goes inside this part here. And then the whole part can go back across like that. And you can kind of set this whichever angle you want it's on little teeth so you can pull it out and move it to adjust your height but the correct way to do it this handle this metal handle actually should sit inside the plastic part there so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to refit this washer here it just slides over the top there and then this little part that drops out earlier this just fits in here and you can thread this whole part back on and I'll tighten this up these little uh, handles are really handy actually even though this is a little mower it'll just help you 
with a little bit more storage room in your shed or garage because you can just fold this down really quickly so I'm going to tighten that up and then to fasten this up you just need to lock this over like this way like this and the whole thing clips down together like that and doesn't move then that's exactly what it should be like but you must make sure the metal part sits in this little plastic part and not over the top so I'm going to do exactly the same thing at the other side so you'd imagine that that kind of went like that but you've got to take this off here and take this whole part off what I just want to show you here is this actual plastic part here you can see here how there's actual cut out in here so that's what we need to be looking at and then we're going to fit this handle into this plastic part here which goes down here and actually in to the actual plastic here it actually goes right into the bottom of there and sits in like that so it actually sits behind this plastic part I'm going to grab that, put that over the top, put the washer on and then I'm going to put this part on again just exactly the same as I did at the other side and we'll tighten that whole thing up so once you've got this handle actually threaded on a little bit what you do is just find the right position you can just clip this whole part up here and that's the lower handle locked on so what we have left to do now is assemble this top part of the handle here this is why I've left it in the box just to avoid scratching it make sure your actual uh, electrical cable goes on the outside and that can hook in that little clip there but you can see here it's the same sort of setup you've got these quick release handles all you need to do with these is just unscrew them from these parts push them through these squares here and just tighten them up so just to make filming a little bit easier for me I've done that side I'm just going to show you how to do this side the top part of the handle actually goes on the outer side of here so you need to take these parts off here these handles need to come off completely off like we did before and the washer as well we'll take those off this part tends to drop out quite a lot not too much of an issue we're going to put that through there go through the whole handle and refit the washer back on top of here we'll pop this part back in here and we'll just start to re-thread this as well and tighten this up against the washer it's just a case of trial and error really and there you go get this whole thing tightened up and the whole actual handle is now assembled so that's not too bad to do but I just want to film round just uh, do a few little close-ups for anybody who's struggling with this just to show you exactly where everything goes so I know sometimes reading instruction manuals and looking at pictures isn't quite as clear so you can see here the metal part of this handle actually sits behind this plastic part that's what I was showing you before same at both sides lock the handle up then I've got these handles facing this way here don't suppose it matter which way the clamp I think they should face upwards though got this through this side here I've got the washer on at this side and everything's tightened up so the only thing left to do really is I just want to clip this actual electrical cable under this cable tidy here and you can see we've got the whole thing set up and ready to fit the battery so just before we do any more of this setup I'll just film around this a little bit just so you can have a, a look at the mode just to see what it looks like it's a kind of futuristic really isn't it look it's, I get quite excited about these sort of things really but um, yeah a bit of a futuristic looking mount field say so the two batteries are going to sit in the top of here and I'll show you how to do that and we'll take this assembly video right through just to show you how to operate this as well so in a second I want to show you the battery charger and I'll show you how to charge that up and where they go I just want to quickly show you something which is this height adjuster here you can set this all the way from 25 millimeter up to 75 or two and a half centimeters right up to 75 which is right up here and adjust the height of the mower so I'm going to start with that one down there and the next thing I'm going to do is just lift up this cover inside here this is where the batteries go I'm just going to show you a few features for safety inside of here so this model of lawnmower actually comes with two batteries some of these lawnmowers come with one some come with two you can see here they've got battery compartments that are labeled here with a two there and obviously this was number one you can see the little number one icon there you just drop your batteries in here but I want to show you this feature here this is actually a safety key if you look on here there's actually little numbers there's a one there I'm not sure how well you can see that there's a one there and on the other side here you can just see a two this is actual key is set at the minute to zero when the key is set to zero that means you've deactivated both of the batteries but the idea is you set this to zero and this part comes out so you can't have any accidents because this is a battery operated lawnmower all it takes is for someone to actually activate it here and pull this lever up and this whole thing could start doesn't need plugging into the wall don't forget because it's not running like a corded electric one it's not a petrol one either so it can quite easily start up so this is actually a safety feature so every time you finish with the mower I suggest that you put this somewhere safe with your keys away from the mower until someone's responsible is uh, going to use the mower again so the idea is you drop the key in and you turn it to position one 
to use battery one and when the battery one runs out you can turn it to battery number two but the idea is when you finish you must turn this to zero that deactivates either one or both of the batteries and then remove this key and that's the only safe way to actually operate this lawnmower is with this key in and make sure you move it when you finish with it and put it in a safe place you can see there we've got the handle set up I've used this handy little uh, connector here this cable tidy just to tidy this little cable up here so the next thing we need to do is take a look at the batteries I'm going to show you what they look like show you the charger I'm going to show you how to charge both of these batteries up so this product actually comes with the battery charger here and you can see here we've got two batteries both of them go in this lawnmower I just want to mention something on here as well you might just want to keep this box or actually write down the serial number of this charger because if you lose it and try and get hold of another charger you may find it difficult but there may also be another serial number on the product so let's open these boxes up let's uh, take a look at this uh, charger and these batteries right so I'll just take a knife I'm just going to knife this across the top of here I say this is completely new this so this is as you will find it when you receive it from the shop I'm going to carefully open that box up there and we'll take a look at exactly what's inside here so we've got this nice battery charger, you can see here, a little bit of documentation in the bottom of the box here, once again it's a certificate of confirmation as well, so you want to keep hold of all these things, you might just need these tickets as well if you want to order any parts, and this one is specifically for the charger. So under the box to one side, you can see here, just a straightforward battery charger, and it looks like we've got a, an indicator light on here, so we'll take a look at what that's all about as well. So let's take a look at the batteries, and undo this box here. Take a look at these quite large size batteries. Let me take this out. Well, before I charge it up, I'll just read through the instruction booklet as well. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to drop this onto these charging points here. And this is one of the batteries. This is what you'll receive. So after a quick look in the book, there's actually three lights that are actually on the battery. So that's uh, quite advanced, isn't it? You can see these three lights when you drop it in here. You can actually see on here on the top you get these green indicator lights so when they've gone full you'll know that the battery is fully charged so really straightforward just to get your battery set up so I've left this battery on charge just for a few minutes I want to show you this indicator on here there's actually an indicator button there if you press the button it lights up and it tells you how much battery you've got left so you've got on here you've got actually two green bars out of three so that's going to be good enough to try this I'm going to do the same thing with the other battery we'll drop both of them into the lawnmower and we'll try this machine that's actually a really handy feature because you could just lift up the mower from the top, lift the cover up, press the button and it'll tell you how much battery you've got remaining. So a really nice feature I think that. Okay so let's take a look at fitting these batteries in this lawnmower. This lifts up and if I'm honest I wish it would just stay up while I put the battery in but it doesn't. You have to hold it up. You can see you've got the little pins here on the back of the battery. They're going to go in that way around. You just line them up, drop down from the top and press this down. You'll hear it click in. And this is battery compartment number two, so I'm going to take the key, make sure, as I've said before, this is in a safe place. I'm going to put the key in, like that. I'm going to put it to number two. I'm going to drop it down, and let's just see if this lawnmower starts up with that battery in place. So I've just put the one battery in, as I've shown you there, into compartment number two. Now, I'll show you how to start this machine up. There's actually a safety button on the side. You must press this button first. You need to press this button, and then lift this up at the same time. If you just lift this up first, this won't actually work. You can probably hear a micro switch, just click, listen. That's something you want to look for if your lawnmower doesn't start. But to start this, you press this button and lift up this lever. I'm going to do this in a second with the camera on the tripod and show you that this lawnmower actually starts. So I'm going to press the button at the side and I'm going to lift up the lever. And I'll just check this lawnmower starts as it should. So I'm pressing the button on the side and I'm going to lift this handle up at the top. When you let go of the handle again, the lawnmower stops. It's as simple as that. Now what I want to do next is put the other battery in. I just want to demonstrate that you don't get any more power with having two batteries in. It's just that you can alternate between the two. If you're cutting a, a bigger amount of grass, so I'm going to drop the other battery in. Click that on there. Just start this up exactly the same way and you'll see you get exactly the same amount of power. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change from battery 2 to battery 1. I'm going to lift the key. I'm going to turn it on to battery 1. Push it back down. 
what happens then is the light switch you can actually see which battery is activated because when you change the key from two to one the actual battery and compartment one lights up on the battery indicator so another really good feature as well So I'll just show you that feature closer up, you can see how the lights are on with that battery when I start the lawnmower, obviously after a while it goes off, you press the button, start the lawnmower Then you can see exactly which battery you're using, how much you've got left, you have this handy screen at the top and I really like that, I think that's a great feature where you can see inside and I really like these battery indicator lights as well, so to show you how to change it from battery 1 to battery 2, just turn the key around Start of the lawnmower, you'll see those lights go off and these lights will come on. So you only need one battery for this lawnmower to actually operate, although it is handy having this feature with these two batteries. If you mow in and you run out of power, you can simply switch the key from one to two or two to one, depending on which one's run out, and you can carry on with your cutting. So we've got the handle set up, we're now to charge the battery, we've put the batteries in place. Any comments and you're struggling with this lawnmower, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comments section of this YouTube video. I do try and get back to people um, often on my channel as much as I can. The last thing I'm going to show you on this is actually the grass catcher at the back. Let's set the grass catcher up, have a look at that and I'll show you exactly how to fit that as well. I'm just going to put these batteries on charge, but if you're just going to start cutting and you weren't sure which one you want to select, you can obviously just lift up this little glass trap door here and you can have a look that battery's got two that battery's got one and to remove the batteries you just pinch the sides and the pop up like that you just pinch grab hold of the silver parts on the side and the batteries pop up so I'm going to charge this battery now and I'm going to put that to zero just to make sure that I don't accidentally start up the lawnmower and nobody else can start it up as well so this is what the lawnmower looks like with this grass catcher attached really simple to fit in basically you just lift up the grass box deflector at the back, there's two little hooks, I'll show you these close up in a minute and you just drop the grass box on the back, put the deflector down and I'll show you where the actual hooks are on the back of there now. You can see how the grass catcher sits on here, I'll just take this off, just lift it off like that, you can see these plastic hooks here, they're quite robust really, quite strong, nothing's really going to snap off there. And this little part just slides in there. And obviously always make sure you're doing this when you've got this key set to zero. It's a really important part of this actual battery mower is to the safety elements of this to make sure that that's on zero when you're emptying the grass box. I would use it all the time and I'd definitely take the key out as well when the lawnmower's not in use. Please feel free to subscribe and tick the bell notification as well. I hope it's helped anybody out. Leave me a comment if you want to know anything about this particular lawnmower as well. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again on the channel next time.